Hey, in this video, we will explore what is Aurora in crypto. In the age of influencers and social media, we have all contemplated on creating short videos illustrating our favorite memories from trips, birthdays, or other celebrations. Sharing these videos on Instagram, TikTok, or Meta is part of the deal. However, finding the right music, adjusting the pace, and putting all videos together could be quite the challenge. To ease the process of bringing your videos to life, other creators or even platforms have launched templates, giving you a quick way to complete your project and share it with the world. Now, while Aurora has nothing to do with social media or video creation, in this example, you could view videos as decentralized applications. This makes Aurora the go-to platform for Web3 developers who want to expand the reach of their dApps. Welcome to Crypto Finally Explained, the most crypto-friendly educational YouTube channel for actually learning crypto. Here, I finally explain crypto topics using simple animations, visual doodles, and real-life examples, so no matter if you're 5 or 75, you'll be able to understand it. In this video, we're going to explore the labyrinth of Aurora. In particular, we will search for the answer to the question of what is Aurora in crypto by delving into the specifics of the Aurora platform and Aurora Finance coin. Let's get going! Aurora in the crypto ecosystem can definitely be compared to the natural light displays on the Earth's sky, also known as auroras. Similar to actual auroras, this solution brings light and speed to the decentralized application development ecosystem. My words probably brought more cloudiness to your sky, not really helping explain what is Aurora in crypto. So let's not get ahead of ourselves and tackle this question step by step. Firstly, we cannot talk about Aurora without mentioning that it is the NIR protocols project. Today, we will avoid delving into too much detail about NIR. However, if you want to know more about this project, be sure to check out my dedicated video to learn more about it. Put short, NIR is a layer 1 blockchain dedicated to decentralized application building. The project strives to solve issues linked to the majority of blockchains, such as low throughput, low transaction speed, and poor cross-compatibility. So, what part does Aurora play in this? Imagine that NIR is like a phone. While the phone itself is a great tool for communication, its potential has been greatly expanded by the integration of the internet. In NIR's world, Aurora is like the internet. Aurora was introduced in May of 2021 by the NIR Protocols development team led by Alex Shevchenko. Aurora is an Ethereum virtual machine implementation on the NIR protocol. Being implemented as a smart contract, Aurora utilizes NIR's block time as well as its consensus mechanism. If you know anything about blockchains or the crypto ecosystem as a whole, you might wonder why is NIR's rival, Ethereum, included in the mix of Aurora's operations. The main idea behind this integration is to make Aurora compatible with one of the biggest blockchains, easing the process of Ethereum dApp transitioning and expanding Ethereum economic features on the NIR protocol. Before we explore the specifics of Aurora, it is worth highlighting that it is not a blockchain. As I mentioned before, it's a smart contract. Thus, such a thing as Aurora blockchain does not exist and shouldn't be used to refer to this project. Moving on, let's quickly explore what is the Ethereum virtual machine. In a nutshell, EVM is a software program or virtual machine that is responsible for the whole Ethereum operating system, especially task execution and smart contracts. In other words, EVM executes scripts that implement operations on the Ethereum blockchain. A good example of how EVM works is looking into it from the perspective of video games. In games, all the graphics and gaming logic are programmed in engines. Each time you open the game, the operating system runs these engines to recover your progress, visuals, and in-game actions. This is exactly how EVM works on the blockchain network. In particular, Ethereum Virtual Machine compatibility allows Aurora developers to write smart contracts with Ethereum-driven programming language Solidity. Moreover, developers can seamlessly move Ethereum native applications on the Aurora platform. This is exactly where Aurora's main goal comes into play. NIR Protocol's team developed Aurora with the aim of creating a Layer 2-like network, allowing devs to deploy their dApps on an Ethereum-compatible, scalable, high-throughput and future-safe platform. The best part? Aurora offers low transaction fees to dApp users. By offering creators Ethereum 1-like development experience, Aurora opens the doors for Layer 2 perks, including scalability and speed. As Aurora runs on the NIR Protocol, it takes advantage of its unique features, like developer gas fee remuneration and sharding. If you want to know more about any of these topics, be sure to leave a comment below and I might create a dedicated video on this. Aurora is not just a bridge between developers building decentralized applications on the NIR protocol. It is also a place for digital asset transfers. The smart contract has a rather unique bridge which expands Aurora's compatibility with Ethereum even further. This solution is also known as the Rainbow Bridge. The Rainbow Bridge is a fully trustless bridge on the Aurora platform, allowing seamless digital asset transfers between Ethereum, NIR, and Aurora. At the center of Aurora's Rainbow Bridge is its fork, Sputnik VM. 
This fork is a highly adjusted EVM that allows to complete transactions at high speeds while remaining fully compatible with Ethereum virtual machines. In the world of crypto, the term fork is used to refer to certain changes in the protocol. To understand it a bit better, you can look at it as a software update on your phone or other smart device. Let's explore the specifics of how a transaction reaches its finality on Aurora. Overall, the smart contract is supported by around 100 near nodes, which are called Aurora relayers. Put simply, nodes are computers that validate transactions and keep the network safe. In the case of Aurora, after a new block is minted on NIR, the transaction on Aurora can be finalized. Since its inception in 2021, Aurora has enjoyed a transaction finality of up to 2 seconds and near zero costs of an average of 2 cents per transaction. What is also special about Aurora is that transactions initiated on the platform allow users to pay their gas fees in Ether. This compatibility with Ethereum and other perks have spearheaded the development of over 150 crypto projects, from decentralized finance platforms to non-fungible tokens or crypto wallets. When we talk about the Aurora blockchain, we cannot forget to mention that it is driven by a decentralized autonomous organization, or a DAO, and its native token, Aurora. So, what is the Aurora NEAR protocol token? In terms of its native token distribution and use cases, Aurora is similar to any other decentralized finance project out there. The primary purpose of Aurora is to serve as a governance token for its DAO. If you want to know more about DAOs and how they operate, check out my video explaining all of the intricacies of this management structure. It is no surprise that because Aurora has such a close relationship with the Ethereum network, its token was created following the ERC-20 standard. This is essentially a token creation standard for assets established using the Ethereum blockchain. Now, regarding its tokenomics, the Aurora token saw daylight on October 7th, 2021, with a cap of 1 billion tokens. Upon its release, 48%, or 480 million tokens, were set aside for Aurora DAO's future projects. Another 20% was distributed to the community treasury, with 16% put to Aurora Labs' long-term incentives. The remaining 16% were distributed among the near ecosystem, investors, advisors, and contributors. What is interesting about how Aurora distributes its tokens is its plans for the circulating supply. In a nutshell, circulating supply is the total supply of tokens that aren't locked until a certain time. The development team behind Aurora believes that by the 132nd month from the token generation event, over 99% of the total supply will be unlocked. Now, that's some crazy numbers. However, they can quickly become more understandable. The token generation event took place on November 18th, 2021. 132 months is exactly 11 years. Therefore, almost all Aurora Finance coins will be unlocked by the end of 2032. Unbelievable, right? However, the Aurora NEAR protocol token serves not only as a governance tool. The team behind Aurora has launched, or is considering launching, several additional incentives for Aurora token holders, including staking or using the token to cover Rainbow Bridge transactions and contract execution fees. The Aurora Finance coin is not as widely available as you might think. In particular, to purchase the token, you would need to scan the whole entire ecosystem quite thoroughly. That being said, some mainstream cryptocurrency exchanges do appear to support it. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that Aurora aims to solve issues prominent on other blockchains and expand Ethereum's economic features. Now, let's take a deep dive into how Aurora and its parent NEAR protocol do exactly that by comparing it to Ethereum. One of the most important perks is its slow transaction fees. It is estimated that Aurora's fees are up to 1,000 times lower than those on Ethereum. For example, to transfer any ERC-20 token, the user would have to pay around a penny. On the other hand, for Ethereum, the fees can often be unpredictable and are usually much higher. While fees are important, the speed of transaction completion definitely plays a part when choosing where to make your token transfers. Aurora is able to host thousands of transactions per second, which is dozens of times more than Ethereum during the same time frame. On top of that, by utilizing NEAR protocol's block production, Aurora is able to reach transaction finality in seconds. Ethereum, on the other hand, reaches finality in around 15 minutes. Overall, it is evident that by introducing Aurora, the team behind NEAR protocol strove to solve the current and future challenges of the Ethereum network while preserving its engineering advancements in smart contracts and code. As we wrap up this video, I hope that the concept of what is Aurora in crypto is clear as day. However, before we say bye to each other, let's recap what we learned about the Aurora platform. Aurora is an Ethereum virtual machine implemented as a smart contract on the Layer 1 NEAR protocol. Aurora strives to ease the process of dApp creation by allowing developers to integrate Ethereum-compatible dApps on NEAR. In particular, Aurora offers devs a scalable, high-throughput platform with low transaction fees. As with many DeFi projects, Aurora has a decentralized autonomous organization of its own, with its native Aurora NEAR protocol token with the same name. 
With the token, holders can have their say on the project's future plans or participate in other incentives. Thank you for watching this video on Aurora. I hope it will help you explore the world of Web3 with much more ease. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.